21 years have been making tamales at, at my house and started out with just family and friends and then it grew and grew. Well tonight we're experiencing the second Teacher Tuesday program that we've started here at the Institute of Texas Culture. We invite teachers from the community and in this case Dr. Clark who's here presenting her class who are um, bicultural bilingual students and they're experiencing a tamalada and the history of tamales and the camaraderie that goes along with that. Do the masa first, right? Yeah, the masa first. Yeah. <laughs> And the whole face, and you put that in the middle. I make like a rectangle. People make different things. It's a little on the dry side right now. Some people use spoons. <coughs> some, some spreading action here. And then you have to soak the, the chiles, the chiles or chile poblanos, in it to give it a lot more flavor, a lot of hot. But you don't. So what I do is do it like this. See it? Like this. And then you roll it over and then you fold it back. And then you grind them like this. You make a lot of noise. You make a lot of noise. Oh, that's good. 